All right, Sam here at Chuck Levin's again. Uh, I'm told by Eric it's a Metal Monday today. It's Metal Monday. Metal Monday. Metal Monday. Metal Monday. Metal. So I figured to bring up one of uh, our most metal snare drums we have, open it up and uh, take a look at it. There's box one. Box two. Box three. Get a little teaser in there. All right, there she is. The Mapex Black Panther Sledgehammer. This has a 1.2 millimeter hammered brass shell. Something that really kind of pops out as you kind of rotate the camera around here is it has these really, really chunky giant hammer marks. So what that's going to do is that as the energy is transferred from the head to the shell interior, it's going to bounce around randomly uh, instead of going basically just straight across. The reason they do that is it helps kind of control a lot of the overtones that brass tends to produce, um, making this a little more of a clean snare to work with, um, which is great at higher tunings, um, but can also be helpful to kind of curb that sort of boinginess you get with lower tunings also. Or actually something that's a little unique about these particular two blugs that they do have uh, lug inserts which is going to make living with the drum down the road a lot easier, helps to cut down on the tendency of two blugs to cross thread. Um, so that's, that's something cool about these. Uh, personally, that's a big pet peeve of mine with the two blugs is just that they're very unforgiving. You have to have them lined up just right. Mapex calls these sonic saver hoops. You can kind of see the engraving along here. Uh, they offer them in a bunch of different finishes. These ones are pretty neat because they actually match the sort of weird oiled finish that this guy gets. At their core, they're pretty straightforward. 2.3 millimeter hoop, similar to the triple flange tubes you'd get on, you know, any nice drum. Uh, but instead of curving outwards, they actually curve in towards the snare and give it a, you know, where your stick hits it, they give it more of a rounded edge, which is where they kind of get the name Sonic Saver from. Helps to cut down on the hoop eating into your, uh, your wooden sticks. But beyond that, yeah, it's just it's real straightforward, as the name probably implies. Um, it's meant to be loud, it's meant to be aggressive, it's meant to cut through guitar stacks, uh, it's meant to smash through mixes, uh, so yeah, beat the hell out of it. So if you needed a heavy drum for heavy music, this would definitely be on my short list. Um, we're going to tune it up here real quick and actually see if we can get one of our microphones to pick it up without clipping.